Finishing up parts D and E from the volume problem on the notes, you are going to need your calculator for this part. So the first thing we're going to do is put in our equation. So in the Y equals, we are going to input our volume equation. Then um, we are going to use the table to have it tell us what the volume would be when X is these different values. So once your equation is in your Y equals, you're going to go to second table set, which is above that window button. And you want to make sure your table start is at zero your change in the table intervals is 0 0.25 and both your independent and dependent variables are on auto. So once your table is set up, you're going to go to the table and it will show you when X is zero, your volume is zero. When X is 0 0.25, your volume is three point, and we'll just round that to nine four. When it's five, our volume is 6.75. 6.56, when it's 1, the volume is 6, 1.25, 4.67, 1 1.5 gives us a volume of 3, and 1.75 is 1.31. So there's our table. And then we want to use the table to determine what <coughs> excuse me, value of x gives us a volume of 3. Well, our volume is 3 when x is equal to 1.5. And we can verify that algebraically by plugging in x of 1.25, or sorry, not 1.25, 1.5, into our volume equation. So let's plug in 1.5 for x and see if it matches up. So that gives us 2 times 1 times 1.5, and that is in fact 3. And that concludes our notes on solving equations by factoring.